Welcome to an introduction on New Way Standard Porous Carbon Air Bushings. So what we have here is our line. Uh, the black ones are imperial sizes. These uh, are inch size bushings. So this is a quarter inch diameter bushing on the small side up to a three inch diameter on the largest size. The blue ones are in the metric sizes. So this is a 75 millimeter diameter bushing and it ranges down to a 13 millimeter diameter bushing. So this bushing carries about 50 newtons load and the large one, the 75 millimeter, carries about 1250 newtons. Now this is the recommended load, not the maximum load. This bushing would probably carry uh, 2000 newtons or so before it would actually ground. But you don't have to take my word for that. You can reference our printed literature or you can reference the new New Way website. So I'll go to the products tab here, the components, air bushings. We'll pick the metric bushings. Here you can see the full line here. We're going to pick the 75 millimeter. So here are technical specifications on the bushings, load um, flow rates. And you can look here and see lift load curve. So here's an 80 PSI lift load curve and a 60 PSI load, load curve. You've got uh, stiffness equations and explanations for the gap here. There's also engineering drawings, so the bushings are fully described. There are um, PDFs you can download. You can also download solid models of the bushings directly into your own drawings. We provide mounting hardware, so uh, here's uh, stainless steel shafting, uh, end mounts, mounting blocks. That's what this is here. Uh, we supply O-rings and air fittings, so just about anything you need in order to employ these air bushings, New Way will provide for you. Now, why would you use an air bushing in the first place? One of the main reasons is that shafting is so readily available. There are a plethora of commercial suppliers for hardened steel shafting or for stainless steel shafting, probably the most common uh, surfaces to run the bushings on. It's relatively inexpensive. Again, that's why you would consider air bushings, one of the main reasons. Some of our customers use tubing. Um, you can finish the OD of aluminum tubing or steel tubing. We have customers that run the bushings on aero shafts and carbon fiber shafts and plastic shafts and glass tubes. So it's about anything that's the right size you can run the air bushings on. Now here is an actual air bushing with the O-rings on it and a mounting block here. So I'm going to stand up and actually insert this. So you can see that the O-rings line up with holes in the pillow block that would allow you to inject some epoxy. Just to show you how simple this insertion process is, we'll squirt a little alcohol on here to lubricate it. And we'll just push this right into the pillow block. So now those O-rings line up with these holes. So if you wanted to, you could use an epoxy to inject into one side of the pillow block until the epoxy comes out the other side. Then you know you've gotten it full. And in the meantime, the air pressure is on and this bushing is self-centering itself. So that it's getting just where it wants to be and then it gets hard mounted by the epoxy as it cures. Now here's an example of an air bushing stage. You can see the pillow blocks, the shafting, the end mounts for the shafting, the frictionless motion of the air stage. Where would air bushings be used? Some applications require very slow but ultra smooth motion. For instance, this novel tone arm for a record player. Other applications require very high speed motion. In this voice coil application from H2W, the original rolling element bearings wore out after several million cycles. But the New Way air bushings both improved the motion profile and eliminated wear. Professor David Trumper at MIT noticed that the frictionless characteristics of air bushings made it easy to perceive inertia and damping effects. So he used our air bushings to create control theory labs explaining inductors, capacitors, and resistors through their mechanical corollaries, masses, springs, and dampers, making the understanding intuitive. Air bushings are often used in friction, viscosity, and force measuring applications. They're also used in relatively heavy-duty industrial applications. 
New Way will manufacture custom air bushing assemblies for you. We like to see follow on production orders, but here's an example of exactly that. This is for a semiconductor customer. We've finally finished shaft and air bushing. Uh, there's differentially pumped grooves here that allow this to be used as a vacuum feed through into deep vacuum. So you've got 10 to the minus 6 vacuum chamber here and a motion system out here allowing for the feed through functionality. We also manufacture larger bushings. Here's an example of an aluminum housing with a nickel coating. We can make air bushings up to a meter in diameter. We also manufacture custom housing, so here you can see a spherical shaped housing in a standard size. We manufacture air bushings that have thrust faces on them so that there's axial restraint. And you can use these thrust bushings as a way of manufacturing your own custom spindles. So these components go together and allow you to manufacture your own precise, relatively inexpensive, custom air bearing spindle. Look for a video on how to use our thrust bushings to do this in the future.